Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to run Azure Batch Job in Azure Portal. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and now what we'll do is we will start configuring the Azure Batch Job in the portal. So in this video we will see how to use the Azure Portal to create a batch account. We will create a pool of compute nodes, which would be virtual machines and a job that runs basic task on the pool. After completing it, we'll make sure that we'll understand the key concepts of the batch service and be ready to try batch with more realistic workloads. We'll do it with that net. We'll try to do it with the Python as well. So if you already not signed up on Azure, I would request you to please sign on to Azure to do the lab side by side, side by side. Now, when you will be signed up, you will have the subscription and that you will create a batch account like we would be doing it now. So we will create a, click on create a resource. We will go under compute. Then we will go under batch service. There it is. Click on it. I have a pay as you go subscription. I have two subscriptions. That is why it is showing me a drop down. I'm using this. Let me confirm my subscription for six. Okay. So looks good to me. Resource group. We will enter the values of the account name and resource group. Let's see. I create a new resource group. Test user. Batch RG. Click on create. Account name would be Asser BAC as an Asser batch account. Location will select as West US2. So it will change the FQDN as well. Now, if you would do this, click on next advanced. The pool allocation mode would be batch service. So if you will read around it, it's specified whether to provision compute node pools in a subscription managed by the batch service or in the subscription in which you are creating a new batch account. So I'll make sure that it is managed by the batch service. Click on next, click on tags. Let's leave it as default. Review what you selected. And after that, you will click on create. All right, click on create. It is creating, it is initializing the deployment. It is when it is done, we will create a pool of compute nodes. Let's wait for the deployment succeeded message in here. Then we'll proceed further. I'll pause the video and come back. Deployment is succeeded. I'm going to click on go to resource. Now that we have a batch account, we'll create a sample pool of Windows compute nodes for test purposes. If you remember, we created the Linux pool nodes when we were doing it with Azure CLI. In the batch account, you have to click on pools under features. Now you will click on add here. Enter a pool ID. Click on a pool. You can click on anything. You can enter here as well operating system so image type would be marketplace your publisher would be microsoft windows server I'm, I'm you can use anything i'm using this your school would be 2012 r2 data center small desk just to save on some money and then uh, scroll all to enter the note size note size would be standard a1 which is this your node pricing tier would be standard A1. Here you would be. Let's not change it. Target dedicated nodes. Would do. Let's keep it 0 and 15. Let's keep the default for remaining settings, which are application packages, certificates, task scheduling policy, internode communication, 
let's leave it as default virtual network click on ok my pool is created successfully if you will click on it now we will have to create a job we have a batch account we have a pool under pool we will create a job to run on it a batch job is a logical group for one or more task a job includes settings common to the task such as priority and the pool to run task on that we have already created now go back to your this one now go back to jobs we are doing it under batch account not under pools select jobs click on add enter the job id assert job select a pool that you have created it is resizing hold on a sec job you select it oh it is resizing you have selected a sir pool leave the settings as default click on ok you have the job created now we will have to create the task now create uh, we will create a simple task to run in the job we can typically create multiple tasks that batch queues and distributes to run the compute nodes for this video we will create two identical tasks each task runs a command line to display the batch environment variables on a compute node so when we use the batch the command line is where you specify the app or the script so now we'll have to add the task it is a job we will add the task here task id or task command line would be a basic command line let's enter here it is we'll set the max wall clock to unlimited this is none retention time would be seven days let's do let's we'll actually delete it user identity would be task auto user non-admin none configured then zero leave the thing as default click on submit job has been submitted after we create a task match queues it to run view the task output if you want to this is a task and this is not so if you will click on this click on refresh okay it is still active so it will take few minutes to run let me pause the video and come back all right we am back so click on overview and to view the task you click on the root folder and then select the file to view so if you will see standard out these are the look uh, these are the output of the the output of the task the content shows the azure batch environment variable that are sent on the node when we create our own batch jobs and tasks we can reference these environment variables and task command lines so this is how you do it now we will have to clean up the resources and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next video and to clean up the resources it is still running let me just show you how i will clean up so we will we will delete the pool first this is a job this is my pool resource pool this is my pool delete the pool we will delete the pool after the pool will be deleted the task output on the node is deleted i will delete the resource group in which this all is present so i will click on home resource groups i've created this and i will click on delete resource group control c control v and delete so everything would be deleted when the resource group will be deleted so just to make sure check once twice thrice if you want to so that is the video i wanted to cover for azure batch using the azure portal if you have time please join me in the next video thank you have a good day ahead